Hello awesome students, it's Dr. Foltz. Today we're going to go over how to cite multiple authors using APA format. Now if you're interested in how to create a reference page using APA format or really just formatting your entire essay using again APA format, I have some links that are embedded into the description which you might find helpful. And then throughout the video and then at the end of the video, there are some additional links to again to some videos that you might find helpful. Now in this video, we're going to go over two things. We're going to go over how to cite parenthetically publications that have one, two, or three or more authors. And then I'm going to show you where those parenthetical citations go. So first things first, what's the information that you're going to need for every one of your citations, regardless if it's just one author or a million authors? Well, you're going to need the last name of the author or the authors. You're going to need the publication year. And then you're going to need the page number or the page numbers. Now, when it comes to formatting for one author. Again, we have our last name, our publication a year, and our page number. For our hypothetical example, we're going to use my name, we're going to use the year 1975, and then we're going to use this make-believe page number, of page 214. So the template is pretty simple. It's going to be the last name, it's going to be the year, it's going to be the page number. Notice that there are commas in between each portion of this entry here. So when we fill in the blank, it's going to be real simple. Fultz, 1975, and then P period. Make sure you have that in there, P period, and then the page number itself. Notice there's a comma again between each of these sections here. So what do you do if you have two or more authors, excuse me, for two authors? Well, for two authors, again, you're still going to need the publication year, the page number, same thing. But in this case here, you're going to need the two authors' last names. Notice that there's an ampersand that separates the two of them, the two authors' names. For our hypothetical example, it's Fultz and Smith. And so when we look at the template, it's very similar with the names, the year, and the page numbers, except for you have an ampersand that's going to separate the two of them. I put this in bold because I wanted to highlight it, not because it should be in bold when you actually create your citation for your paper. So what does this look like then in your paper? It should look like this. Fultz, ampersand, so and Smith comma 1975 comma again the p period for abbreviation for page number and then the page number itself so this is where it gets just a little bit wonky i suppose a little bit tricky is what do you do when you have three authors or more and when i say or more it could be a million authors doesn't matter how many the or more is in this case here you still only need one author name that will be the first author that comes up in your article You'll need the page number and you'll need that publication year. So it looks very similar actually in terms of the information that you're gathering uh, as if you had one author, except there's going to be very one very important piece of difference. And that is you're going to add this abbreviation after the author's last name caught at all within your citation. Now at all is an abbreviate. Well, I'll show you what it means here. At all is an abbreviation, a uh, Latin abbreviation for the phrase and others. So really what you're saying here is you're saying fault and others, and then the year, the page number. So what should this look like here? This is what it should look like. You should have that author's last name. That all, again, notice it's not bold. I only had a bold because I wanted to highlight it for you. Since it's an abbreviation, you would put a period here, then a comma, the publication date, 1975, the page number, don't forget the P period, and then that is your parenthetical citation. That's it. So it's very, very simple. So the template is very similar regardless if you have one author or a million authors. And that is you're going to have the author's last name or names. You're going to have the publication year. And then you're going to have the page number. So then the next part of this video is the question is, where does the citation go? Where does it go? In this case here, the citation goes immediately after the quote doesn't matter where the quote is located, it goes immediately after it. If the quote is in the beginning of the sentence or if the quote is at the end of the sentence, that citation has to go right after the quote. So for example, let's pretend that we're gonna quote this phrase here that says use standard APA format. Let's say that we got it from a book written from James Fultz, it was published in 1975, and then it was taken from page 214. And then we're going to integrate this quote into our own sentence. This is the sentence that we've created here. 
It says, it is important to use standard APA format and formal essays. That's a sentence we've written. This is our quote. Now, because this is a direct quote, we need a citation. We know what the citation looks like. So the citation is going to go right here. And so this is the structure. In MLA format, you would actually put the citation at the end of the sentence. But in APA format, you always put the citation right after the piece of evidence that you're using here. So that's it. That's all we need to do. So if you have any questions, by all means, make sure that you send me an email or you can post it into the comments. And as I said, there are other resources that are included in the description as well as at the end of this video. Have a great day.